Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about pros and cons of sensor cloud infrastructure. So there are uh, so many pros with respect to the uh, sensor cloud. Okay, let's see one by one. Service requesters or the end users can control the service instances very much freely. End users can inspect the status of their relevant virtual sensors. So as they are uh, accessing that particular data, they can have a freedom to uh, inspect that particular relevant virtual sensors Okay, with respect to the data. All the service requesters or the end users can use the virtual sensors without worrying about the implementation details. So there is uh, not much need to be explained. It is the, all the points are very much sim simple. So the client or the users need not to be worry about the exact location as well as detailed description of their sensors. So where they are located, everything, no need to worry about that. They can just access the virtual cloud or the virtual sensors with respect to the instances. The service instances are automatically provisioned whenever a particular request is made. And the IT resources, the IT resources can be considered as our uh, uh, storage, okay? Storage or PC or an uh, operating system kind of thing, okay? So the IT and sensors are released and when a required job is over, it means if at all the instance are used and the request is finished, they can, uh, they will become non-useful. That means the in, uh, instances are no more useful and they can be deleted. So the usage of physical sensors can be tracked by the sensor owner. That is one facility or the advantage, or you can consider it as pros, okay? So the sensor data are available all the time for a number of various applications until the connection is provided. So it is all the data is already available up to a particular uh, amount of time, okay? So the sensor cloud architecture provides an extensible, open, interoperable, as well as intelligent uh, sensor network for service provisioning in the healthcare, okay? So uh, healthcare nowadays is one of the major important, right? So uh, with respect to that, if you consider the example, all these extensible, open, interoperable, and intelligent sensor network can be very much useful uh, in the healthcare. And coming to the cost, the cost of IT resources and virtual sensor network infrastructure is reduced whenever they are integrating with the internet or the cloud. Okay, so the cost is also very minimal. So the end users can also create the sensors groups dynamically. Okay, and also these groups helps in innovating the new services. So they have a provision to create the sensor groups. Beside all these advantages, every technology will be having disadvantages also similarly. So this also will, is, will be having some sort of cons. So let's see what are the few cons uh, with respect to the sensor cloud infrastructure. So the IT resources, and physical sensors should be prepared prior in the operation of the sensor cloud infrastructure. Obviously, any physical sensor should be prepared prior in order to operate the sensor cloud infrastructure, okay? So the second con is the sensor cloud infrastructure will not provide a much accurate data as it is of uh, directly sharing the physical data sensor. Suppose, the physical data sensor or the physical sensor which shares the data is much more accurate than the uh, data shared by the sensor cloud infrastructure. That can be sometimes one of the disadvantages, okay? So the exact value may not be achieved. So the sensor cloud infrastructure is vul uh, vulnerable and also they may sometimes prone to attacks. So it's a kind of uh, uh, virus or a hacking, some kind of thing. So the attacks mostly will be like in a distributed denial of service, DDOS. And not only that, XSS, cross-site scripting is also one of the attacks which can be 
constructive a lot of uh, interferences noises and uh, uh, so, uh, like uh, attacks with respect to scripting all that will be done so it continuous data connectivity is needed between the users as well as sensor cloud server obviously whenever we are using an internet or a cloud a continuous data is very much required or a continuous internet connectivity is required in order to exchange the data between users and the sensor cloud server so these are some of the pros and cons of the uh, sensor cloud infrastructure mm -hmm.